Hello, this is Mary Plummer from Ripple Training, and today I'm going to show you how to take your drummer out of the drum kit and into some software instruments to create some really awesome instant rhythm tracks. Very cool stuff. Let me just show you how to do that. We start with a new project and one drummer track. You can choose whatever genre. I'll start with rock just for this example. There we go. Here's what we're going to do. If you've worked with drummer before, you already know this is a virtual drummer. You can select the different regions. This is the drummer track. You can make adjustments to the track. You can choose the style. You can choose the different drummers. Each plays a different style of drumming and have a little bit different instrumentation and chops. You can even change the pieces of the kit if you'd like to something else, but that's not what I'm excited to show you. Right now what I want to show you is how to actually jump out of Drummer and work with different software instruments instead. So I'm going to jump from here into my library and instead of my normal drum kit, notice within your drum kit you can always go down into producer kits, choose a kit to change the sound of your kit and then spill that open and sure enough you have access to every single instrument in your kit these are basically all the different mics and you can raise lower and pan them as needed. But we're going to take this even further and instead of working with a drum kit, we're going off-road. We're going to jump out and go into another type of instrument. So I'm going to click on my drum kit to back into my library and instead go down to let's say synthesizer. Let's go into our synth percussion and I'm going to choose this knocking echoes. Now do you realize how fast I'm making this is like instant music? Let me point out another tool while I'm here. If you're working with Logic Pro 10.2 and higher, there's a new button in town right here at the bottom. This one right here is my auto select for drummer. And if I click on it in the drummer editor, it will now select the whichever region my playhead's over. So I can make adjustments here. And then I can change this new region because it'll be selected. Okay, so that was very cool, but let's do a little bit more. I'm going to go out, look at my synths first. I'm going to go back into orchestral for one moment. I could go into my choir. Let's say I'm doing something that's really some funky choral alien piece or whatever, and I wanted chamber choir to be doing some kind of weird rhythm. Not that you'll be doing this every day, but it's still pretty cool, and it took me about a second. Okay, let's take it further. I'm going to change genres right now. I'm going to go into, let's go to R&B, and I'm just going to choose one of the drummers in R&B. Okay, my drummer now sounds like a drummer, and I'm going to change this into one of my synth basses. Let's go to synthesizer, and let's just do my EDM bass, something fun like After Hours Pumper, why not? Okay, now you realize this took me no time at all to do, but here's where it gets really cool. Not only did I do this and change my drummer into After Hours Pumper EDM bass track, which I can now edit, but I can duplicate this. Option, drag down the track header. I've now made an exact duplicate of the track. If you're working in Logic Pro, you can have more than one drummer track. And now I'm going to change this one back to a drummer. So I'll select it and I'll come back in, back out in my library and I'm going to go to my drum kit. I'll go to, let's say, Motown for no reason. Okay, so how cool is this? So just remember, if you have to create some kind of underlying sound, if you want a cool rhythm, if you're just looking for some unusual bass part and you have no idea where to go, you could try your arpeggiator or take a hint from me and check out your drummer. So that's it for now. I'm Mary Plummer from Ripple Training and thanks for watching.